guys it's finally here it's it's man this took so long it was so hard to get but we did no bots were used so i want to personally thank walmart for the wave system that they implemented into uh their online store snatched it on my anniversary day december 17th uh i was <laughs> i was extremely surprised because i was like damn i'm not gonna get one until probably next year but here we are with the ps5 time to unbox this baby gonna be using my little cobalt knife this is my favorite knife that i have actually it's the only one that i have so uh let's get into it and uh cut off the edges People were not kidding whenever they said that the box was insanely big. So, uh, time to take this puppy out of the box, man. Super excited about this. So since all this stuff is on top, let's uh, do this first. So we got here the stand. Let's take this out. Right here. Pretty nice. Set it on the side. We got the HDMI cable. And then we got the control. Oh my God. This is gorgeous. Holy crap, man. Look at this. Wow. So I've heard a lot of people say that this control is too big. Well, I have big hands, so it works perfectly fine for me. It fits nicely. It's heavy. Oh my god. So the control actually has a nice finish in the back. It has like the circle, triangle, square, and next uh, finish. So let's see if this camera can work some magic and if it will zoom in all the way. Oh, wow, it actually did. My, my hand is shaking, but uh, as you can see, <laughs> if I would stop shaking, damn. All right, there. See, got the X, the triangle, square, and circle. Man, that's a nice detail. That's some nice details to the control. And then we got the USB connection for your control. So uh, let's set this all aside. So now it's time to take the main guy out. So uh, let's lay this down, just like the box instructed it. And let's uh, pull this out slowly. Oh, jeez! I can't, I can't even. This is so freaking heavy, dude. I know I've said that a bunch of times already. But wow, look at this. Isn't it insane? All right, so let's take the plastic out for the wrap. I know the paper sound is coming through the mic, but don't you love that sound though? Like whenever stuff, like whenever you're taking stuff out, like new stuff, the sound of like just opening it up. Oh man, or is that just me? I'm just weird, huh? Wow, I thought people were exaggerating. Look at this. Here it is, man. Oh, wow, I can't believe this. It has the same finish that the control has in the inside. It would have been nice if they did that on the outside, like the whole white part of it on the outside, but that's okay. You got the power connection, HDMI, uh, internet, and then uh, some USB connections. So in front you have more USB connections and the power and eject button. And also as you can tell, this is the disc the disc uh, uh, version of the console. There are two ways in which you can have it set like in the previous gens. Right now I have it laid down. I think I have it uh, set the right way, right? It's not too bad. It balances out well, even with the curves on the back, which is insane. And this is the other way in which you can have it, you know, standing. I have no idea in which way I'm gonna have it set. I'm gonna have to take a look at my setup in a moment. Uh, so that I can find the best way possible so that it doesn't fall off or anything like that because that would be Tragic given how hard it is to get one of these at the moment. So this is how tall this is This is how it compares to the ps4. By the way, this is my day one ps4 never Did me wrong never went bad on me or anything like that never had to take it back So the bar has been set super high. So ps5 you better not man you better not mess up on me. All right, so it's time to set everything up by plugging it in and going through all the setup to see how it runs. One hour later. Guys, I don't even know how to continue on with this video because I just want to dive in and play. Welcome to the next generation. It's a shame that I couldn't record the whole setup on screen because uh, 
the console by default has the HDCP thing uh, enabled, but now it's disabled and everything is all set up. But let me tell you, this thing is smooth as hell. So smooth that I could already feel the difference while I was going through the setup of the console. Let's peek into the store to see what's available to us at the moment. We got the latest and then let's go to collections very easy to navigate man uh let's go to yeah right here ps plus collection we got crash god of war man fallout 4 mortal kombat final fantasy monster hunter this is a wide range of uh games that you can uh, start with if you have the uh the subscription days gone i haven't played that one as well uh uncharted i, I think i have this one actually the disc version and a bunch of these games are already owned. Let's see, view all. I should have done that at the beginning. Let's see, let's scroll down. Oh, that's actually it. Yeah, so besides the games that are already own, man, we're getting a good amount of games to uh, fiddle with, to play with. If we go to the Explore tab, we can check out uh, streams and games that we follow, videos on the games that we follow. Uh, I don't remember following Fortnite at all so we're gonna have to fix that and then of course the games that you have installing let's check out the PlayStation Plus uh, section so you can access the collection through here as well PS5 monthly game the Worms Rumble that's a new game that uh, came out not too long ago uh, this was available already on PlayStation 4. Yeah, right there it says it. <laughs> PlayStation 4 monthly games. And if you keep scrolling now, it shows you pretty much the same thing. And then we have the PlayStation Now, which isn't new if you're coming from a PlayStation 4 gen. But if you're coming from Xbox, it's kind of like a Game Pass, right? We have the media gallery where you'll find all your videos and pictures and stuff like that. And then the share factory, which I believe is locked because I haven't downloaded it. And then of course you have your game library, man. I just noted that I have 263 games and I haven't even played half of them, which is insane. What is your collection looking like? Let me know in the comment section below guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video of me unboxing the PlayStation five and setting it up as you can see I have Astro's playroom on screen because this is what I'm going to jump into straight after this video I'm going to be doing a series on this as I try to platinum this small game hundred percent at hundred percent at you know 100 I was trying to sound gangster but that just came out cringy Ugh. like i said 2021 is gonna be a great year a lot of content coming into the channel so make sure you drop a like on this video to help me out with the youtube algorithm and subscribe for more gaming content and other shenanigans as usual i will see you guys on the next video oh and happy holidays and happy new years completely forgot about that be safe peace